Hello everyone, this is going to be a very quick video on restoring your quick sources or even just how to add quick sources up here. So normally when you create a new collection, by default it's going to add it to the quick sources. So let's say I create a new one here. We can see that it's added it up there. Now, if I go and let's just remove this file browser one real quick. If I go up here and I accidentally hit restore quick sources to default, we will see that it has gotten rid of my collection and it's brought back on the file browser. So I accidentally clicked that and then I was coming back to my collections and I was like, okay, let's drag and uh oh, I'm not able to drag and, and put it there to my quick sources, which I thought you were able to do. Now, luckily, the Bitwig community came to my aid and big shout out to this, a part of a structure, uh, YouTube account here gave me the answer very quickly. And it is very simple. You can just come up to show all sources, go to your collections, and then you can drag and drop, or you can right click and add to quick sources just like that. And then what's also nice is anything in here you can add to your quick sources if you wanted to do that. So if we wanted to add our base presets like this, we could do it. Or if I wanted to go into the packages, and this actually is going to be useful for me, I want to add notes and bloom up there, then I have those here. And if I restore quick sources, they'll all go away, but then I can easily enough bring them back. So now I have access here to all of my bases. I also have access to um, notes and bloom right there with all of the various presets. And I also have access to all of the stuff from Antelope, which actually none of these work on my system anymore, except for the top two. But essentially that's the answer to that question. And I just thought I would share this with other people in case you're having the same issues uh, I was having and was panicking a little bit and thought I was gonna have to start the whole process over. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks again to that YouTuber. And I hope everybody has an amazing day. Take care.